let's go ahead and just play this. And you can see, again, these are very simple ball bounces. They're not even moving across the screen, but you can see the variation in the feeling of weight for these. Obviously, the ball on the right, the kind of more basketball type of bounce is going to have a lot more bounces to it, and it's going to take longer for that energy to die off. And that's another important aspect is making sure you're getting believable weight in your animation is that obviously you have to rely on the timing and spacing, but then you need to think about the object itself. If this object on the left is supposed to be a bowling ball, it's not going to bounce nearly as many times and the bounces directly after it drops, that bounce is going to be pretty low in height because it is quite heavier. So again, that energy is going to die off a lot faster, which also will contribute to the feeling of weight in your animation. So you not only have to think about, you know, the variation and the timing and the spacing to achieve that weight, you have to think about that object itself and how that's actually going to affect the energy through the bounces. And I can go ahead and select the ball on the right here, and you can see the graph for the up and down curve of this animation. 